Hello everyone, welcome to theCUBE's coverage of Compute Engineered for Your Hybrid World, sponsored by HPE and Intel. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. I'm pleased to be joined by Krista Satterwaith, SVP and General Manager for HPE Mainstream Compute, and Lisa Spellman, Corporate Vice President and General Manager of Intel Xeon Products. Here to discuss the major announcement. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thanks for Thank having us. Here. Great yeah. to see you guys. Um, and exciting announcement. Krista, Compute continues to evolve to meet the challenges of businesses. We're seeing more and more you know, high performance, more compute. I mean, it's getting more compute every day. You guys officially announced this next generation of ProLiant Gen 11s in November. Can you share and talk about what this means? Yeah, so um, first of all, thanks so much for having me. Uh, I'm really excited about this announcement. And yeah, in November, we announced our HPE ProLiant Next Gen, and it really was about one thing. It's about engineering compute for customers' hybrid world. And we had three different design principles when we designed this generation. Uh, first is an intuitive cloud operating experience. And that's with our HPE GreenLake for compute ops management. And that's all about management that is simple, unified and automated. So it's all about seeing everything from one console. So we have a customer that's using this and they were so surprised at how much they could see. And they were excited because they had servers in multiple locations. This was a hotel, so they had servers everywhere. And they could now see all their different firmware levels. And with that type of visibility, they thought their planning was going to be much, much easier. And then when it comes to updates, they're much quicker and much easier. So, uh, so it's an exciting thing, whether you have servers just in the data center or you have them distributed, you can see and do more than you ever could before with HPE GreenLake uh, for compute ops management. So that's number one. Number two is trusted security by design. Now, when we launched our HPE ProLiant Gen 10 servers, Years ago, uh, we launched groundbreaking innovative security features and we haven't stopped. We've continued to enhance that ever since then. And this generation is no exception. So we have new innovations around security. Security is a huge focus area for us. And so we're excited about delivering those. And then lastly, uh, performance um, for every workload. Uh, we have a huge increase in performance with HPE ProLiant Gen 11, and we have customers that are clamoring for this additional performance uh, right now. And what's great about this is that it doesn't matter where the bottleneck is whether it's CPU, memory, or IO, we have advancements across the board that are going to make real differences in what customers are going to be able to get out of their workloads. And then we have customers that are trying to build headroom in. So even if they don't need it today, what they put in their environment today, they know needs to last and needs to be built for the future. That's awesome, thanks for the recap. And that's great news for folks looking to power those workloads. Uh, more and more optimization is needed. I got to ask though, how, is what you guys are announcing today, meeting these customer needs for the future. And what are your customers looking for and what are HPE and Intel announcing today? Yeah, so customers are doing more than ever before with their servers. So they're really pushing things to the max. I'll give you an example. Uh, there's a retail customer that is waiting to get their hands on our ProLine Gen 11 servers because they want to do video streaming in every one of their retail stores. And what they're building, when they're building what they need, we started talking to them about what their needs were today. And they were like, forget about what my needs are today. We're buying for headroom. We don't want to touch these servers for a while. So they're maxing things out because they know the needs are coming. And so what you'll see with this generation is that we've built all of that in uh, so that customers can deploy with confidence and know they have the headroom for all the things they want to do. The applications that we see and what people are trying to do with their servers is light years different than the last big announcement we had, which was our ProLiant Gen 10 servers. People are trying to do more than ever before, and they're trying to do that um, at the edge as well as, as the data center. 
Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about the servers we have. Uh, so with, in partnership with uh, Intel, we're really excited to announce a new batch of servers. And uh, these servers feature the fourth gen Intel Xeon scalable processors, bringing a lot more performance and efficiency. Uh, and I'll talk about the servers. One, the first one is a HPE ProLiant DL320 Gen 11. Uh, now I told you about that retail customer that's trying to do video streaming in their stores. This is the server they were looking at. Uh, this server is a new server. We didn't have a Gen 10 or a Gen 10 plus version of the server. This is a new server and it's optimized for edge use cases. It's a rack based server and it's very, very um, flexible. So different types of storage, different types of GPU configurations really designed to take care of many, many use cases at the edge and doing more at the edge than ever before. So I mentioned video streaming, but also VDI and analytics at the edge. Uh, the next two servers are some of our most popular servers, our HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 11, and that's our density optimized server for enterprise. And that is getting an upgrade uh, across the board as well. Big, big improvements in terms of performance and expansion. And for those customers that need even more expansion when it comes to, let's say storage or accelerators, uh, the DL380 Gen 11 is a server that's new as well. And that's really for folks that need more expandability than the DL360, which is a one new server. Uh, and then lastly, our ML350, which is a tower server. Uh, these tower servers are typically used at remote sites, bra uh, branch offices. And this particular ser uh, server uh, holds a world record for energy efficiency for tower servers. So those are some of the servers we have today, today that we're announcing. Uh, I also want to talk a little bit about our Cray portfolio. So we're announcing two new servers with our HPE Cray portfolio. And what's great about this is that these servers make supercomputing more accessible to more enterprise customers. These servers are going to be smaller. They're going to come in at lower price points and deliver tremendous energy efficiency. So these are the Cray XD servers. And there's more servers to come, but these are the ones that we're announcing with this first iteration. Great stuff. I can talk about servers all day long. I love server innovation. It's been following for many, many years, as you guys know. Lisa, we'll bring you in. You know, servers have been powered by Intel, Xeon. We've been talking a lot about the scalable processes. This is your fourth gen. They're in gen 11 um, and you're in fourth gen. Krista mentioned this generation's about security edge, which is essentially becoming like a data center model now. The edges are exploding. What are some of the design principles that went into the fourth gen this time around the scalable process? Can you share the Intel role here? Uh, sure. You know, I love what Krista said about headroom. Um, if there's anything we've learned in these past few years, it's that uh, you can plan for today and you can even plan for tomorrow, but your tomorrow might lot, look a lot different than what you thought it was going to. So to meet these business challenges, as we think about the underlying you know, processor that powers all that amazing server lineup that Krista just went through, we are really looking at delivering that increased performance, the power efficient compute, and then strong security. And of course, attention to the overall operating cost of the customer environment. Intel's focused on a very workload first approach to solving our customers' real problems. So this is the applications that they're running every day to drive their digital transformation. And we really like to focus our innovation and leadership for those highest value and also the highest growth workloads. Some of those that we've uniquely focused on in fourth gen Z on our artificial intelligence, high performance computing, network storage, and as well as the deployments like you're mentioning, ranging from the cloud all the way out to the edge. And those are all satis satisfied by fourth gen Xeon Scalable. So our strategy for architecting is based off of all of that. And in addition to doing things like adding core count, improving the platform, updating the memory and the IO, all those you know, standard things that you do, We've invested deeply in delivering the industry's uh, CPU with the most built-in accelerators. And I'll just give an example in artificial intelligence with built-in AMX acceleration, plus the framework optimizations, 
customers can see a 10X performance improvement gen over gen. That's on both training and inference. So it further cements Vion as the world's foundation for inference, and it now delivers performance equivalent of a modern GPU, but all within your CPU. The flexibility that that opens up for customers is tremendous, and it's so many new ways to utilize their infrastructure. And like Krista said, I, I just want to say that that best in class security and security solutions are an absolute requirement. We believe that starts at the hardware level and we continue to invest in our security features with that full ecosystem support so that our customers like HPE can deliver that full stack solution to really uh, deliver on that promise. I love that scalable processor messaging too around the silicon and all those advanced features, the accelerators, AI certainly seeing a lot of that in demand now. Krista, similar question to you on your end. How do you guys uh, look at these, your core design principles around the ProLiant Gen 11 and how that helps solve the challenges for your customers that are living in this hybrid world today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we see how fast things are changing and we kept that in mind when we decided um, to design this de generation. Uh, we talked all already about distributed environments. Uh, we see the intensity of the requirements that are at the edge. And that's part of what we're trying to address with the new platform that I mentioned. It's also part of what we're trying to address with our management, making sure that people can manage no matter where a server is and get a great experience. The other thing we're realizing when it comes to what's happening is customers are looking at how they operate. Uh, many want to buy as a service. And with HPE GreenLake, we see that becoming more and more popular. With HPE GreenLake, we can offer that to customers, which is really helpful, especially when they're trying to get new technology like this. Sometimes they don't have it in the budget. With something like HPE GreenLake, there's no upfront cost. So they can enjoy this technology without having to come up with a big capital outlay. Uh, for it, so that's great. Um, another one is around, you know, I like what Lisa said about security starting at the hardware and that's exactly the foundation has to be secure or you're starting with the wrong, at the wrong place. Uh, so that's also something that we feel like we've advanced this time around. Uh, this, you know, secure um, root of trust that we started uh, in Gen 10, we've extended that to additional partners. So we're excited about that as well. This is the first episode of theCUBE's coverage of Compute Engineered for Your Hybrid World. Please continue to check out thecube.net, our site for the future episodes where we'll discuss how to build high performance AI applications, transforming compute management experiences and accelerating VDI at the edge. Also to learn more about the new HPE ProLiant servers with the fourth gen Intel Xeon process, you can go to hpe.com and check out the URL below, click on it. I'm John Furrier at theCUBE. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in high-tech enterprise coverage.